Yo guys, what is going on? It's Lukey here and welcome back to another paint job video. Now, in today's paint job video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make cherry blossom. Now, this camo was in Black Ops 2 and it was probably one of the cleanest camos in Black Ops 2, to be honest, except from the diamond camo, of course. Um, I remember I used to always run it. Um, it was like the pink one with obviously cherry blossom over it. Now, I did my best to replicate it. However, I couldn't get it exactly right because there's only 64 layers. However, if I did have more layers, then I would have been able to make it so much better um, because as you'll see near the end, I run out, I use every single layer there is um, because all the little flowers and everything on it and all the little cherry blossom little bits. Um, unfortunately, I did run out of layers, so I couldn't make it exactly perfect and an exact replica, but I probably could have if there was more layers, but unfortunately I did run out. But anyway, hopefully you guys like this. I did as good a job as I could. Um, once again, I did run out of layers, so it's not as good as it could have been. But anyway, as you guys probably guessed, you probably, um, obviously, you need to start off with a pink background because that is the base color of um, the cherry blossom camo. Now, once you've done this, um, right now I'm just messing around. You don't, you don't actually get the shape. I delete this, and then you want to go ahead and get the shape that I use in pretty much all my paint jobs, which is this shape here. Make it an outline. Stretch it along the weapon. Now, if you look closely on cherry blossom, um, there is a few little blotches of different colors pink. It's not all one color of pink. There's um, darker shades and stuff like that on it. So. This is how I get the little like blotches of different colored shades of pink. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool camo. Uh, you'll see at the end result, I will skip it later on because um, one part of it is kind of tedious. So, um, but anyway, as you can see right now, I'm just copy and pasting this camo, I mean this shape, sorry. And as you can see here, I'm making it the second um, pink there and the first pink. Copy and paste it over the top of it, make it the other pink and then move it across a little bit. And this, as you can see, it gives it um, a nice, just different kind of, different areas of the weapon is a different pink. It's not all the exact same uh, pink and that's quite important because obviously the actual weapon, if you look close enough, um, it's not all pink. Um, it's not all the same coloured pink, sorry. But anyway, as you can see here, I'm just doing this over the weapon a few times in different places. Uh, you don't have to do this step if you guys don't want to. This is just to make it um, as detailed as you guys want to. Now for the branches, as you can see here, I use this shape right here and then I go ahead and, and select a brown color. Now, um, looking back at this now, I think you should make the, the brown a little bit brighter because it is kind of dark. Um, and on the actual paint job, the brown is a little bit darker. So I do recommend you guys go ahead and change in the color a little bit brighter on uh, the brown uh, wood uh, sticks kind of color. Um, but as you can see, I'm just scattering these across the weapon differently. And um, you can place these wherever you guys want to. I mention this in all of my vid videos. You don't have to copy me exactly because if you copy me exactly, um, you guys could find out a different way. If you guys uh, put them in different places, then you guys could make it look better than me. Just have it get creative. Um, uh, just you know, discover different ways, and it will end up looking a lot better if you guys just get creative with it. Put them in your own places and don't copy me exactly. You can copy me exactly if you guys want to, um, but that is completely up to you. As you can see right now, I'm just placing these around um, and making the branches, and I'm just placing these on random spots on the. Um, on the branches now i do add more later on this isn't all the branches i add i'm just gonna after this i put some little flowers on it um and at the end i do add some more branches and some more flowers once again i do want to mention at the end you'll see that i do run out of space for the flowers which is kind of annoying because um it could have looked 20 times better if there was more layers but unfortunately I got to the um, uh, 64th layer and I ran out of space so I had to change it up a little bit. Um, but for the flowers you want to go ahead and get this shape right here, it's perfect for this um, flowery bit, it's in the perfect shape. Um, so just go ahead and get this, make it a white, 
Now you only want you, you only want to do this a few times. If you could do this on every single flower, it would look so good. But unfortunately, I ran out of space, so I couldn't do that. So I could only do it on a few of them. Um, but yeah, you want to go ahead and get this flower, then copy and paste a few times. Make it a pink one, then a red one, and then make the red one very small in the middle, as you can see right now. Just making the red one very small in the middle, and there you go. And then you want to go ahead and do the same thing on all the other um, branches. Now, I'm going to talk about something right now. You guys can either skip this if you want to, or you can listen to me. Um, but basically, I just want to go ahead and talk about um, I am planning to do a top five paint job series. Now, you can listen to me uh, talk about this, or you can just skip it to the end and see the end result of the weapon. But if you guys could stay, I would appreciate it. Because I just want to mention that I'm wanting to do a top five paint job series where you guys submit your paint jobs to me by Twitter. So if you guys have any cool paint jobs that you have made, it can literally be anything, but obviously it does have to be good because they're going to be in a top five paint jobs. I've had a few submissions, but not enough to make the actual top five yet. Um, so if you guys have any cool paint jobs that you guys have made and you're wanting to get a shout out from me, um, then just go ahead and send it to me on Twitter. I will see if it's good enough and if it's good enough, I will showcase it in a top five video. And then once again, I'll give your YouTube a shout out or your Twitter a shout out, whatever you guys want me to shout out. Um, obviously, I'm going to give credit and stuff like that. I'll put your links in the description below. And yeah, um, I just wanted to mention that very, very quickly. Um, but anyway, that is pretty much it for this paint job. Now I'm going to skip to the end result and um, hopefully you guys do enjoy this paint job. If you guys do enjoy it and think it looks good, make sure to leave a like and a sub. And make sure to leave some suggestions of what camos or paint jobs you guys want me to make next. Um, I do need suggestions because coming up with paint jobs myself can be kind of hard sometimes. Um, but give me a suggestion down below of what camo you guys want me to do. So yeah, that has been it for today's video. If you guys enjoy, make sure to drop a like and a sub and turn those notifications on so you do not miss out on any of my future videos. But anyway, that has been it once again and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.